Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionators, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we continue our bleeding and coagulation playlist, and let's compare between immune thrombocytopenic purpura, or immune thrombocytopenia, and hemolytic uremic syndrome, so let's get started. Immune thrombocytopenic purpura, basically there are IgG, O2 antibodies, attacking the GP, 2B3A receptor, which is on the platelet, this will prevent platelet aggregation. If there is no platelet aggregation, primary hemostasis is toast. Hemolytic uremic syndrome is associated with the E. coli 0157H7. It's associated with eating undercooked meat, or as Gordon Ramsay will say, it's raw. Hey, big boy, listen, it's raw. Bloody hell, I mean bloody diarrhea can happen with hemolytic uremic syndrome. What else? We have microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, and acute renal failure. Today is the last day to get a 35% discount towards any product on my website. Go to medicosisperfectionalist.com. Just to let you know that we are talking about typical hemolytic uremic syndrome, which happens in children, which happens with diarrhea. Okay, immune thrombocytopenia versus HUS. Etiology, IgG, O2 antibodies against GP2B3A and the platelet. How about hemolytic uremic syndrome, Shiga-like toxin of the EHEC 0157H7. It's a Shiga toxin producing E. coli, also known as stick, and it makes platelets stick to the injured endothelium. Platelet count, it's a thrombocytopenia, so it's low. How about here? It's low because this is a triad. We have microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, and renal failure or uremia. Okay, bleeding time. If platelet count is low, bleeding time will be high. Duh. Schistocytes, absent in ITP, present in HUS. LDH, normal in ITP, high in HUS because there is a hemolytic anemia. Haptoglobin, normal could be low in hemolytic uremic syndrome because it's a hemolytic anemia. PT and PTT are normal in both cases. Why? Because coagulation factors are fine. Secondary hemostasis is perfect. Treatment, ITP. If there are no symptoms, no treatment. Steroids can help, IVIG, platelet transfusion plus IV steroids plus IVIG if it's really severe. Rituximab, el bag and the romiplostem if steroids and IVG failed and then splenectomy is last resort. How about treatment of HUS? Supportive, most cases are self-limited. You just support the patient with fluids, electrolytes, all of this kind of stuff. Symptomatic uremia, go with dialysis. If hemoglobin is low, hematocrit is low, give RBCs. If the kidney failure is really bad, dialysis. Do not give platelets, do not give antibiotics. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to get my courses, and don't forget to use the promo code 35 of cancer. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snailus, where medicine makes perfect sense.